Oh, the dinosaurs, the big ass trees, the dinosaurs, brains like peas, jaws and claws, and teeth and bones. Hello and welcome back, boys and girls, to the second session of Dynamic Dinosaurs. I hope you enjoyed the first session. We did have a little bit of a technical hitch, but we hope that we have rectified that now and that you can now see me nice and easily on a landscape, which means you have no excuse but to join in. Dynamic Dinosaurs. Crazy moves? We don't mind because we're all locked in our houses, Ooh! which means no one can see in. Shut the curtains, turn the lights on, and don't worry about a thing. No one can see you. You can look as silly as you like. You can look even more silly than Dino Girl, and I do know I am dressed in a giant bunch of flowers. But do I care? No, I don't, because I love being dinosaur crazy and I love to entertain and I do feel sorry for all of you kids and parents stuck in this situation at the moment. So that's why we're doing dynamic dinosaurs so we can get moving and love it. So, first of all, before I begin, I'm just going to say if you do love it, please share it. Share our Dynamic Dinosaur Show with your friends and family, other kids, other teachers, anyone you can think of, so we can make sure we reach as many people as we can during this very tricky time. Well done. So, if you were here and the last session, you will remember that Dynamic Dinosaurs is about moving all the time. So, one thing that we do is whenever Dino Girl is talking and showing you the next crazy dinosaur move, you need to be in what I call standby mode. Standby mode is anything except standing by. The dinosaurs, if they spotted some prey or they saw that they were being hunted down, they wouldn't stand by, they'd move. They'd move out of the way or they'd run and chase after the other creatures. So they're never still and we're never going to be still. If you're not being still, you're moving about. This is one of the standby modes, a gentle jog, okay? Parents, you might want to do this if you don't want to do loads of crazy other stuff, but so long as you're not still at all. Okay, one of the standby modes I did was a dancing mode. So you can dance whilst you're watching and listening to Dino Girl. Or if you like a bit of kickboxing, if you're from the pit, Paul Whiffin Kickbox Club, you might do a bit of shadow boxing. So long as you keep an eye on me, you can do that. Then there's the, ah, oh, the lovely head rolling, oh, and joint rolling mode. Particularly good if you're feeling ah, a little bit stiff from sitting on the sofa. Okay, so roll mode is another one, but I've thought up two more, boys and girls. So, if you like ballet, how about this? A ballet standby mode. Ah, you can just ah, do lots of ballet moves, perhaps hold onto a chair. You can do all of that whilst you're watching Dino Girl for the next move. And finally, my other one I thought of was lots of lunges mode. Ta -da! <laughs> <laughs> I love to lunge. Okay, but for me, for Dino Girl, I'm going to have just a gentle jog as my standby mode because I need to keep a bit of breath back so I can tell you what to do. So, what we're going to do, you're going to follow me for some of the moves because you're easy to follow and then standby mode whenever I'm demonstrating the other moves. Okay, let's start. Follow me. For this one, we're going to come down to the ground. Ooh. Now, in the first session we did something similar. We were a little dinosaur and we were inside our egg. And we broke out of our egg. Now, have a look at this. I wonder if any of you, any of you can guess what this is. Turn it around, let me have a look. This is a piece of actual dinosaur eggshell. So, look how thick that is. You're going to break out of that because all dinosaurs laid eggs and so we're going to break out of our shell. The dinosaur breakout exercise. So, scrunch yourself up. We're doing this from sitting. So, you're in your egg. Nice, scrunch yourself up really tight. 
that's it, nice and tight. Okay, now, first of all, you're gonna uh, try and break out your shell, open up your arms a bit, and then uh, push out on your shell. Try, uh, try and break out from your shell. Uh, that's it, just like the first session, except we're sitting up for this one. Uh, oh, oh, ah, excellent, so your eggs broken and the arms are, your arms are out of the shell. So now it's time to get these feet out of the shell. Are you ready? And push. That's it, push. Give it a little kick. Give it a little kick. Okay, good. And another one. Another kick. Okay, now arms and legs. We're free. Woohoo! That's it. Okay, now you've got your arms and legs out. Time to get your head out of the top. So hands on the floor, just a bit like that. Okay, just like that. And then you're going to bolt your head. Your bum off the floor, so you're breaking out of the shell and you're through. Woo! You're free, okay. You've broken out of your eggshell. It's time to do a very cool one, especially made for the parents in your mega stress mode. Okay, this is one for you, parents, but kids, you're gonna love it too. So, <laughs> I call this. The dinosaur number eight, or dynamate, and it's all to do with fairy Xenosaurus, who had the longest claws, they were a metre long, every one of their claws on the fairy Xenos paw was a metre long. So they needed to stretch their paws, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to feet about hip distance apart, knees not locked, just nice and gentle. Then you're going to just put one arm out, keep that shoulder relaxed and the head nice and straight. And this arm straight out and then with your index finger, you're going to point towards the wall and create a figure of eight by writing it with your finger, okay? And you might even feel that this hurts a little bit. It's gonna hurt a bit. <laughs> Do the figure of eight five times with your finger. Then figure of eight with your hand. And then the next stage from the elbow, eight, keeping this shoulder relaxed. Okay, you can do it quick if you want kids. Do, do more than five if you want, but do it a figure of eight. Now, the next mode, eight. Now this is when it gets a nice bit of interest. So the figure of eight, nice and swingy. Woo, that's it, very Xenosaurus with his super long claws would be scraping the floor at this point. Okay, I think I've done more than five. And now the final mode, are you ready? Now parents, just be careful and kids, mind you don't hit your knees when you go down on the figure of eight. So you're gonna go right down and up, and then back, right down and back. Three, four, five. <laughs> I love that one. Okay, then you go back to your figure of eight, one. Two, three, do it faster, four, five, and then this one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, boy is it hurting, and five, and finally that finger towards the wall, point towards the wall, and do that figure of eight. Oh, can you feel it hurting in your finger? One, two, three, four, five, and drop the arm. Now, I don't know about you boys and girls, but can you see a difference between this shoulder and that one? That's right, this one's lower because all the stress and the strain has dropped out of one side of your body. So now guess what? We've got to do it all on the other side. If we go over 30 minutes on this show, boys and girls, I'm sorry, but I didn't want to miss this one out. So get ready to even her up. Always going to even things up when you're exercising. You can't just exercise one side, otherwise <coughs> you'll be a bit of a funny looking dinosaur, wouldn't you? You'd be a bit Whoa. So, arms out, finger, fairy Xenosaurus finger with his metre long claw is going to scrape the figure of eight on the wall. Are you ready? Nice and relaxed. Feet hip distance apart, knees relaxed and go. One, two, three, four, 
five. You might find this side a bit more tricky, boys and girls, if you're right-handed to actually do the figure of eight. But it's okay. You get it wrong or it's not quite a brilliant figure of eight? Who cares? We don't. We're dynamic dinosaurs. We don't care. So one, two, three, four, five. I think that's five. And now at the elbow. One, two, three, four, five. And now, are you ready? Starting the final one. That's one, two, three, four, five. And now the last crazy one. Remember, don't hit your head on your knee if you're a child and you're super flexible. Ready? One, two, three, four. Daddy goes loud in this one. Five. Woo. Okay. And back. So we're going to one, two, three. Four, five, and one, two, three, four. I'm not doing figure eight anymore. And one, two, three, four, five. And the figure of eight. One, two, three, four, five. And relax. Oh, how about that for even shoulders? They look great, don't they? Okay, well done. Well, I think that's a good warm up. Just turn my page over. Woo -hoo -hoo. Are we halfway through yet? No, we are not. No way. Lots more fun to be had. So, we're now going to do the theropod swagger. Okay? Theropods were mainly the carnivores, the meat eating dinosaurs. They, think, they thought they were totally it. So they got a bit of a swagger. Okay? All right, that's it. Gonna put my. Don't wanna go. Okay. I'm cool. But. You need to warm up their hips so they can swagger properly. So, find a wall or a chair or something just to give yourself a bit of steadiness. Turn sideways on, lift your knee up, okay? And get ready to slap it down so that it hits the floor, not too hard, okay? And swings back and then swing it back up again. So, wow, that's it. So, that's it. Swishing, swishing, swishing. Do you feel you've got that hip nice and open? Yeah! I've got a grin on my face because I love hip swaggering. Okay. And turn. Ready? Other side. Push in that leg. Woohoo! Yeah! Get that hip moving. Nice and swingy. Nice and swaggery. That's it. <sighs> oh, I'm enjoying this today. This is great. You're enjoying it, boys and girls. Okay, so uh, now I've got my theropod swagger going. I am looking cool dudes. Okay, so what do we do next? Well, we're gonna see who got stuck in the tree sap. Last week, sorry, Monday, it was a sauropod. One of the heavyweight dinosaurs got stuck in the tree sap. Today, it's going to be Sigisaurus. Segisaurus was about a metre and a half long, a very tiny theropod carnivorous dinosaur, so meat-eating dinosaur, and he was an insect killer. He liked to eat insects, so I think we would have enjoyed him, but we're going to pretend he's got stuck in the sack. So he walks on two legs, so it's mainly the legs this time, so you're going to pretend your feet of your Segisaurus are stuck in the sack. You've got to lift them up and then flick the sack off before you can take a step. Now, for the back leg. Ready? Lift it up. That's it. Give it a good kick. And then, oh no, my fingers got caught in the tree sap. So, give them a bit of a flick. That's it. Flick it out. Flick off the sack. And you're free. So, we're going to move on to one of the exercises and the dinosaur moves that I did on Monday. We're going to do some dino quaking, woo! Because I loved it so much. So, lots of earthquakes when there were dinosaurs. You've got to avoid the split in the earth. So, boys and girls, you need to be in your standby mode at the moment. So, what's your standby mode? Is it shadow boxing, ballet, lunge, roll, anything you like? Standby mode whilst you're watching Dino go. So Dino quaking, this is Dino quaking. The earth 
is uneven and somewhere it's going to crack open. If I say quick left, you're going to leap out of the way, woohoo, to the left. If I say quick right, guess what, woohoo, you're quick right. If I say quick forwards, <laughs> yes, you got it, you quake forwards, avoid the crack and guess what, if I say quake back, arms and legs, <sighs> quake out of the way backwards, are you ready boys and girls, let's do it, okay, stop your standby mode, join Dinah Girl in the centre, okay, legs wide apart, are you ready, the Dino work quakes, are you going to go? Are you going to quake left? Go, quake left! Woo! <laughs> I almost fell over. Okay, well done. Quake right! Woo! <sighs> oh, that's it. No earthquake going to get this dynamic dinosaur. And quake forward! <laughs> Good, quake back! <laughs> okay, and again, quicker, quake left! <sighs> back to centre, quake right! <laughs> boys and girls. Woo! Brilliant. I hope you liked Dino Quakey. I thought that one up the first. That was my first move that I thought of. Okay, next one. You're going to just follow me on this one because there's no move. It's got very easy. It's called a sniff and whiff. You're an Albertosaurus. Albertosaurus was a smaller version of T-Rex from the same family. So Albertosaurus would want to hunt his prey and he had to have the best sense of smell or one of the best sense of smells, okay? Really good, he could sniff out his prey, which was great for finding food. So let's see how they did it. First of all, we're gonna sniff high. So we sniff up high. That's it, you can go around the room sniffing, see what you can smell. You've got to follow the scent though, so you've got to sniff very fast and far and as far as you can each time. So sniff, any direction, okay, that's the sniff, and now whiff, you're catching a whiff, low to the ground, so you've got to get down on your hands and knees, get your nose towards the floor, okay, and whiff. No, you can see me. <laughs> I don't think you can see me when I'm whiffing. Let me put you on the floor. <laughs> okay, ready? Boys and girls, this is whiffing. <sighs> whiffing. Ready to sniff and whiff, boys and girls. Are you ready? Hope you're joining in then, because it's very easy. And sniff. Sniffing and whiffing. Whew, it's quite tiring. Okay. The next one that you're going to do. Standby mode now, boys and girls. Whilst Dino Girl demonstrates. Okay. Standby mode. The next one is Triceratops Charge. We did this on Monday, so those of you that join me on Monday, you're going to be a pro at this already. Triceratops Charge is to do with his horn. He charges with his horn to defend himself. You go at all fours, and when I say Triceratops Charge, you charge at the nearest wall, being careful not to hit yourselves or your head, and then you come back again. Whew. And then Triceratops Charge, you go in the other direction, touch that wall or piece of furniture and back in, back up to standing. Are you ready boys and girls? Come off standby mode, all four paws on the floor. Ready? Triceratops, charge! That's it, all four paws to the wall and back again up to standing. Love it. Woo! And that's it. So, try to 
Triceratops charge, great way to defend yourself. And the next one we're gonna do, okay, is a bit like a game. You can see how quickly you do something. So, in standby mode, boys and girls, just whilst I explain. This game is called, Do You Think He Saw Us? <laughs> you are going to be looking out for or hiding from a creature or dinosaur that wants to hunt you down and have a nibble on your tail. Or maybe one of your hands or arms, you don't want that at all. So, when you are in lookout mode, you're going to be up on your tippy toes and turning around in a circle. One, two. You can go once or twice round, don't do more than that, otherwise you get a bit dizzy. So, that's looking out. So if I say, do you think he saw us? You're going to be in lookout mode. Then, if I roar at the screen, you are going to hide. You can find a piece of furniture or you can just go down onto the floor, out of camera shot, out of the way. So you're gonna hide when your eye roar. So when I roar, you hide. When I say, do you think he saw us? You come up and you play lookout, like a meerkat, but you're a dinosaur. Okay, out of standby mode, kids, we're gonna start. See how quickly you can hide. Are you ready? Remember what to do. like this. Okay, meet Protoceratops. Now, Protoceratops, oops, losing Dino Girl's hat. Just put that on the floor. Let's meet, oh, hello, hello boys and girls. I'm a Protoceratops and I just like eating plants. But every now and again, a velociraptor or two try to leap onto my back. I don't like that very much. No, no, no. No, he didn't like that very much. This protoceratops is an actual size. This is life size, boys and girls. Oh, he would have been very heavy. I wouldn't have been able to carry a real one. But as you can see, about two meters this little lady is, and this is how big they grew. So Protoceratops is going to hide over there, so you can see her, just turn around a little bit, and you're gonna be a raptor who wants to eat Protoceratops, so you're gonna get down onto the ground, Boys and girls, hope you're in standby mode whilst I'm explaining. So you're gonna be on the ground, boys and girls, and then you're gonna get ready to leap. So you're on crouch, so you ground up to crouch, and then get ready to launch yourself, all four feet and arms, forward, as if you're gonna leap 
onto the back of protoceratops. You want to land all four feet onto the back of protoceratops. That's what they liked. So, out of standby mode. Let's do this. Get down on the ground. Okay, now up, creeping up to a crouch. Get ready, get your power in your legs. Get ready to push through, to leap, and go. Pounce for your brain. Woo! <laughs> I had to land on all fours there, otherwise I would have tipped through the door. So, I had a lot of power there. I hope you did too, boys and girls. Okay, ready? Do it again. Down on the floor. Okay, crouch mode. Feel the power. Get ready to launch. Get ready to pounce. One, two, three, go! very hard exercise so we're just going to do two of those today and we're going to build up a little bit as the weeks go on okay we're going to come to the final part i have to admit one of my favorite parts of the show is dancing dinosaurs this is going to be where we bring everything all together you can do any moves that we've learned you can do some martial arts okay if you want to do your martial arts boom, Okay, you can do that. Just make sure you don't kick or punch anyone nearby. Be aware of your space and just go for it. Ready? I like to freestyle. is the best thing. Okay, and just have a wiggle of everything, cooling down. What are you going to do over the weekend, boys and girls? Are you going to practice any of our moves? Oh, I hope you do, because next week I'll probably have thought up lots 
lots more. So we'll repeat some each week and we'll do some new ones each week. And if you can think of any, now this is a really important thing, if you can think of any dinosaur moves that you'd like Dino Girl to run on her show, write into us via travelingnaturalhistory.com, okay? Or you can use Facebook, but it's a bit harder for me because I'm new to Facebook, so I prefer it if you can go via our website and write out, tell me your move, and the best move suggestion, I will send you a prize in the post, okay? Not joking, boys and girls. It'll be a really cool prize. It might be a crystal or a fossil or a dinosaur toy or lots of different things I can choose from. I'll probably send you a list, but you've got to give me a super cool dynamic dinosaur move so I can see what you boys and girls like to do. See which ones you like best. If you tell me what you like, I can make sure I repeat them as well. We do lots of fun stuff at Travelling Natural History, so it's quite a good idea to check out our website as well at the moment anyway. We're literally coming up with ideas every day. Dinosaurs in your garden, if you're local enough to us. We're doing virtual parties, virtual workshops, home learning. There's so much that we're going to do. And the last thing that I'm going to tell you about, because I'm going to hopefully launch it next week, is Cretaceous Cuddles. If all of this is just a bit too much, you might like Cretaceous Cuddles, which is going to be about story time and making your own snuggly cuddly nest so that you can listen and watch Dino Girl as she reads you a Cretaceous Cuddly story. Okay, so that'll be Cretaceous Cuddles launching very soon. If you join me next week, I'm not going to be dressed like Elsa on her way to the gym. Okay, Elsa from Frozen, I do appreciate this is what I look like. I'm going to be uh, dressed a little bit differently next week so you can see between the weeks which week session we're doing so this week i've been a bunch of flowers and next week i'm going to be something different so i'll look different when you see me on the next show next show as well if you can find large books times three so you create a stall about this height i'm thinking of doing some exercises that use something of about that height or about half that height. Just something that you can ah, rest on. Okay, so maybe make sure you've got a nice clear room, three books or four books, hardback books that mummy and daddy get let you use, or a stool like this, and then you can join in with those particular moves more easily. Okay, boys and girls, parents, I hope you've had fun joining in this totally crazy workout. And do please write in and let me know your thoughts. If I can improve anything, that would be really useful too. Okay, I can't wait to see you next week, Monday, 2 p.m. live streaming. It's over and out from Dino Girl. That used to growl and groan and moan. Woo.